let's discuss the matrix method now in this matrix method for calculating the dft discrete fourier transform in this we are going to see the matrix method in this method you have to, you have to know that x of k is equals to omega n into x of n this is your formula of matrix method in this you have twiddle factors so we'll discuss the twiddle factor 4 okay that is n is equals to 4 4 point twiddle factor we are going to discuss that is omega 4 okay in this thing uh, how to get this matrix value so first of all draw a circle and I am taking a unit circle so as you can see 1 2 3 4 there are already 4 parts so no need to divide or do any modification to this circle just see this this is the imaginary part of the circle and this is the real part of the circle in place of real part you will this is unit circle so this radius is 1 so I am writing 1 and this is minus 1 imaginary I am taking J so this is my positive j and this is my negative imaginary that is minus j after having these values you just have to so we will take w4 matrix how to create this matrix this matrix will have four rows and four columns so i am writing 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 okay this represents n and this represents k value okay so I will just w4 is to 0 0 into 0 w4 is to 0 into 1 I will write it w4 is to 0 w4 is to 0 into 2 that is 0 w4 is to 0 0 into 3 that is again 0 w4 is to 0 1 into 0 is 0 w4 is to 2 into 0 is 0 3 into 0 is 0 okay after that w4 is to 1 into 1 1 w4 is to 2 w4 is to 3 just multiply it w4 is to 2 w4 is to 4 and w4 is to 6 then you have w4 is to 3 here you have w4 is to 6 and w4 is to 9 okay so here you have like this up till w4 is to 9 so after writing this particular values now you just write here so this is 1 so you write here w4 is to 0 and we will move clockwise in clockwise direction so moving in clockwise okay clockwise direction so w4 is to 0 this will be w4 is to 1 this will be w4 is to 2 this will be w4 is to 3 again w4 is to 4 again w4 is to 5 again w4 is to 6 again this will be w4 is to 7 this will be w4 is to 8 and this will be w4 is to 9 after writing all this particular after writing this sequence w4 is to 0 w4 is to 1 2 then 3 then 4 okay see this 1 this is 0 1 2 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 okay after having this sequence just substitute in this what is w4 is to 0 see this w4 is to 0 is your 1 in place of w4 is to 0 you will write 1 w4 is to 0 1 w4 is to 0 1 1 w4 is to 0 in all places I am writing 1 after that w4 is to 1 you can see it over here so where is my w4 is to 1 this is my w4 is to 1 the value is minus j I will write minus j then you can see w4 is to 2 where is my w4 is to 2 here so value is minus 1 right here minus 1 w4 is to 3 w4 is to 3 value is j right here j after writing this w4 is to 2 what is w4 is to 2 minus 1 what is w4 is to 4 w4 is to 4 is 1 what is w4 is to 6 minus 1 after writing this right here w4 is to 3 what is w4 is to 3 j what is w4 is to 6 minus 1 what is w4 is to 9 minus j 
so this completes your w4 twiddle factor matrix like this you can get the twiddle factor of w4 so this is your value of the twiddle factor w4 how to get that and derive this i have explained so this is the matrix of w4 twiddle factor in the next video we will discuss the w6 that is 6 point twiddle factor